All right, so welcome back again. My name is Jesse, and in this wonderful and exciting tutorial, we're trying to see how to convert your fast API application. In case you have a fast API application, you have different endpoints into an MCP server. So, what is an MCP? So, it stands for Model Context Protocol, which is a standard or a design pattern or a framework that allows us to have access to tools, resources, and prompt and then expose those assets to our LLM, right? So that's the basic understanding behind it. It's just a unified standard or contract that allow us to make our models more aware, right? And then to increase its contest. That is the basic understanding. So let's see how it works. So in case you have your API, there are two ways. You can write your MCP server from scratch and then connect it to the API. Or in case you have a fast API, endpoint already you can easily convert it to an mcp server by using the library called m fast api mcp and by this library you just easily convert your fast api endpoint to an M mcp server so you can access it via any client so let's see an example so i'll go back again as you can see from here we have my simple endpoint here that has some tests that works so this should work well Let's make it bigger and then i can click on it i get some response and then all of this right so this is an simple endpoint i can just get some items passing some name and then it works right perfect item not found blah 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 so this is my endpoint i want to convert it to a server right an mcp server how do i do that i'll go back again to my workspace here which is here let's close all of this and then I need to install a library. So let's install the library. So I'll go to, let's stop this and let's install the library. So pip install fast API M MCP, right? So that is the library. So once it's installed, I'll just go back again to my location here. Then I need to import it. So let's import it here. So from fast API MCP, we want to import my fast api mcp so that is all that we need right perfect and then we have our app already initialized we need to create one for the mcp server which is going to be my mcp then i'll just create my fast api mcp and this one takes in the app itself that is the fast api app then you can just give it a name so let's call it as let's say simple fast api mcp server and then you can also give it a description. Let's give the same thing. Uh, yeah. Right. So let's say convert. Yeah, that is something convert MC fast API to MCP server. Right. And then the next thing we need is that you need to give it a base URL. So the base URL is what you are going to be listening on. It's still going to be it's going to be your endpoint, right? So let's go back here. I'm going to call it as my HTTP. Then slash slash local host. Then I'll just give it a name, right? It out. So this is where I'll be listening to. Perfect. So that's all we need. So we have gotten the app, gotten the name and description, and our base URL then we need to mount the app so we can do it with mcp.mount and then we have mounted it now how do we run this so since we have this is all we need right since we have mounted it we can just go back again we have our endpoint defined can just go down here and go with my mcp dot we have setup server because we already have this ones already defined then i'll go down here right then i'll run my application so let's run it with this option so you can just like normal you can app upload so you can app and then my app that i've initialized here which is this one yeah so i'm going to run it hope it's not too small then once i run it here my endpoints are all running as you can see all of them works as expected right they work as expected perfectly well how do I allow my LLM or my client to be able to access it? 
So in case I have VS Code or Cloud Desktop or Kesha or an IDE, how do I allow it to be able to see the server that I have created, right? So to do that, I'll just use VS Code. I'll go to VS Code here. Then I would switch to my Copilot. So this is Copilot here. Then when I come to Copilot, this is the previous one we we're doing. I can expose it right to it. So if I click on Select Tools, let's make it bigger. Click on Select Tools. Then this is the one that we did previously in the previous trial. So in case you don't have it, you can check it out. I go to Add More Tools, then Add MCP. Then we have two options. We have the command. So this is for local server, but we want to connect it to our fast API service, right? Our MCP server. So I'll click on this one here. Then I'll paste in this same base URL that I had, which is exactly what we are listening on here. The same thing here. I'll paste it here. Right, that is it. Then let's enter. Then see that it's going to create a server. Enter again. Then specify the workspace. I want to use it for this current workspace. And then now we have it here, like this. Perfect. So this is it, right? Now, how will it rec recognize? For it to recognize, you have to just pass in slash MCP here, right? Because the normal one, this is docs, right? But we need the MCP option here. So if I go with this option here, MCP, and now I can add the server here, or if I refresh, so now we have five, five tools available. If I click on this now, all the endpoints that we had here, items, um, all these ones, as you can see, sentiment, items, delete, put, get, post. You can now see them here in our tools. Right? And then in case you are chatting with your LLM, you can now specify which tool for it to use. Very cool. So that is how to convert your endpoint to an MCP server. If you have a fast API endpoint, all you need is first, you have your endpoint, you just import this package. So from fast API MCP, import fast API MCP, you now create an instance of it, then you mount it, right? Then after that, you can just run it here. So MCP setup server, in case you want to discover these new ones. And then to be able to see it, you just go back to your agent, click on your Get your MVS code, go to agent mode, not just the normal mode. Agent mode allows you to be able to see the tools. If I go to the as mode, you can't see it, but I have to go to the ax, click on agent mode. Now I have access to the tools. Click on here, select tools. Then you can now specify to add a tool, add MCP server. You specify the server that you want. So here you just pass in the local host that we had, which is your endpoint, right? So this is this one here, this is what we had. And then you just pass in, you can just put the MCP here, right? Don't forget this, right? Otherwise, it will not recognize it. Very important. And then you can see that we have already, let's skip. We already have it here, which is a single uh, server sent event, not just a Python a standard IO, which is the one we did previously, but it is the second one. And now you can see that we have it here. So our LLM, our agent, can recognize and use any of these tools and then call our endpoint here right that is how to work with converting your fast api endpoint to an mcp server so thank you for watching the tutorial so in case you want to check more you can go back to this endpoint to so fast api mcp this is the official docs you can just check it out right and then start right perfect thank you for watching see you another time stay blessed